What is going on guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man, and we're back at y'all with another video. So right now, I am on my way to my uncle's house. Apparently, there has been a very large and blue lizard seen on the property. Now, I'm not quite sure what it can be. I know the only large lizards that are around here are iguanas, but those things are usually green, not blue. I'm gonna go ahead and set a trap. Hopefully, hopefully we can catch something and we can get to the bottom of this. So if you're new to the channel, like, comment, and hit that red subscribe button. Okay guys, check it out. This is what we're gonna be using for the trap. We have this, I guess it's like a barrel of some sort, but what I like about it, it's really tall, it's hollow. So our game plan is, is we're gonna put this bait inside there and hopefully whatever lizard is out here is gonna see and smell the bait. They're gonna go right inside here, check it out. Let's see if we can open this thing up to see. I think, oh, ooh, perfect. So for bait, iguanas, they love melons, especially watermelons. It's got nice red flesh. Look at that right there. Very juicy, very vibrant, has a really nice smell. And this is gonna be the perfect attractant to see if we can get one of these lizards to get trapped. They are breeding so much that there could be albinos, there could be new morphs, there can be uh, blue iguanas, red iguanas, green iguanas, yellow iguanas, guys, orange iguanas, iguanas of all different colors. So let's go ahead and chop this bait up. Try a piece to make sure it's good. Oh yeah, nice, sweet, and juicy. The perfect snack for an invasive green iguana. Beautiful iguana bait. This is perfect, 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 perfect. Nutrition, vitamins, and hydration, and right, color. Guys, check it out. So we threw the bait inside the trap. We're just gonna throw some extra bait in there just to increase our odds. Now we have to find the perfect place to set this trap. I'm thinking, I think that over here is his territory right here. This is the area where the giant was spotted, all right? As you guys can see, it is literally amazing size here. These things can be anywhere. He can be all the way up there. He can be under, I hope he's not right underneath there because I'm right there. But I think this is a perfect location to put this We're gonna trap. Go ahead. Leave this trap for a little bit. Let's see if we can put him in the bag. Yep, swing it up now. Swing it up, got him, got him, oh. got him. Oh, there's another one. Holy crap. That's not the one we've seen. No, it's not? No, that's another one on the other side. Okay, we gotta see, oh. Yep, it's a little oh, there he ballerina. Is. <laughs> there he is, there he is. And then we have the ninja right here just for reinforcements. Just in case things get a little crazy. Nice. You know, name him Commando. He looks very commando. Oh, he does. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Let him roll it out. Nicely done, my friend. Yeah. Nicely done. Nice color, though. Oh, he does, yeah. Very beautiful. Nice tail, nice tail too. Nice mm -hmm. tail, too. All right, guys, me and the ninja are back. And the trap is right over there, guys. Uh, we, we actually hear some ruckus in there, so I think, I think we might have them. What do we got, CJ? What do we got? We got one? Oh, we got more than one. We got two. Two. All right, bring him out, bring the trap out. Guys, we got two iguanas, we got two. And just, just from the sound of it, it, it sounds like it's huge. Oh, it's the one that's huge. What do we got in there? Oh, oh my God. We got a teal iguana in here, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, we have two iguanas and we have blue iguana. 
a blue orange iguana and an orange green iguana. Holy smoke. Check it out. Check it out. Oh my goodness. That looks like an alpha male and that looks like his female. But look at the female. She's blue. The female is blue. It was blue and orange, man. Bro, I have no idea, bro. I don't remember. But you know what, guys? It is the breeding season, and it looks like these iguanas are evolving different colors. CJ, I need your help trying to land these boys, all right? All right. Bro, the, 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 the trap worked flawlessly. It worked flawlessly. Look at that female. Look at that female. She's, she's almost white. She might be albino, actually. Ooh, careful. That one's looking right at you, bro. Be careful, bro. Be careful, bro. I got you. Oh my gosh, Ninja. Don't get bit. Don't, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, grab that one. Grab that one. The grab of a thousand iguana. But it's kind of green and it's orange. Yeah, he's getting that McLovin on. All right, right? bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this one, Ninja, and you're gonna grab that female right there. That female looks albino, bro. Bro, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> My gosh, look at that iguana. I've never seen a specimen so beautiful, so colorful. Bro, that thing is, oh, is, oh my gosh, she's feisty. Oh, okay. She's feisty, calm down. And look, she's blue and orange and white. She's like, almost like, look, she has green in her. Oh. Ninja, you oh. know what that means, right? Is this the first aqua iguana? Bro, these iguanas are evolving. They're going from green. They're turning blue, guys. Oh my Never gosh. Seen a specimen so beautiful before. That is insane. Maybe through genetic mutation or a morph or something, guys. This iguana has turned almost almost blue. Is a female. Female? Yep. Oh yeah, and look how fat she is, bro. Super fat. I can almost guarantee she's got eggs in her, dude. Guys, check wow. it out, guys. Real quick, we just want to give you guys a close up of this like blue albino iguana that we just caught, guys. Now, like I said, we've had a lot of reports from my uncle of a giant blue lizard walking around. We didn't know. We thought it was just a regular green iguana. Look, she's oh, she's going to sleep. We want to give you guys a close up of this rare specimen. Wow, this is insane. Look, and look, she's, look, look, she's got a, she's got a regrown tail too. Like she's been in a fight. Ooh, calm down. Oh, wow. Look at, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Super, super crazy looking. So guys, we got this iguana right here. We're going to put her in the bag and try to do some research and try to reach out to some people and see what they think. But we are kind of hungry guys. So we are going to do a catch, clean and cook on this alpha right here and guys remember iguanas are invasive species and you know we can't release them guys and we're hungry and they're really good to eat they call them the chicken of the trees so this guy right here i think he was trying to breed with that blue one but we're gonna go ahead and invite him for dinner oh shoot and uh we are gonna cook this guy right here this guy's super feisty holy crap calm down buddy all right, we gotta get the air right guys and take this one out. This one's really aggressive. In the bag. In the bag. So check it out, guys. We have some of the iguana in the pot. It's safe to say, guys, that iguanas are evolving, turning different colors. And it, it, it makes sense. Because you got to remember, they're breeding so much over here in South Florida that the chances of, of morphs, mutations, and abnormalities are definitely possible, guys. It's absolutely insane that we caught that blue one. But the blue one's in the bag. Comment down below. What do you guys want to see us do with the blue one? But for now, we're going to go ahead and cook up this red one. Dude, right there, look. Take that branch, second branch from the left one, and go up and come in. <laughs> all right y'all check it out guys we put some trinidadian green seasoning 
with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of cilantro, onions, all that festive flavor right there. We're gonna let that marinate for a little bit, guys. And then we are gonna go ahead and put it in the fryer. Yeah, buddy. Uh, all right, guys, check it out, guys. We just battered the iguana and now we are deep frying it. And it may wait until it gets nice and crispy brown, y'all. We're making iguana bites. Comment down your favorite way to eat the iguana. Wow, look at that. All that fried iguana. Ketchup on the one. Ketchup on mustard or how? Uh, probably on the side. Okay. That looks great. See, come on, nice. Very crispy. Looks like KFC. There we have it right there, guys. We got some fried iguana bites. Oh, that's awesome, oh yeah. Got our friend Roxy right here. She's trying it out. Mm. Wow. First, first initial thoughts, Roxy? Amazing. It's so good. Oh my I'm goodness. Hold on, hold on. There's more. It's great. There's more for everybody. <laughs> Go ahead, bud. There's plates. It's oh, really yeah. good. That's some tree chicken right there. Don't get no better than that. <laughs> Just climbing. Doesn't even look like Moana, but it is Moana. It's so good. You're amazing. You're my, awesome. my mom is amazing. Yeah, she's a pretty good cook. That's why. Yeah. We like. All right, all right, guys, we're back. Very good. So this far, Roxy likes awesome. it. Tito seems it's to be great. enjoying it. It tastes like chicken nuggets, but like softer. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Man, that's great. Oh, they're in trouble now. Oh, wow. They're in trouble. I'll tell you I that right now. I just so love Abuela. She's awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. They're in trouble. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Mmm, it's so good. Dude, that wow. tastes like something like straight out of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straight out of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. The seasoning. Huh. They don't even exist. It's really good. It's so soft. It's mild, but it's not too mild. I mean, it's great. I mean, it's got a good texture and really soft it's and white perfect. meat. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's very phenomenal. Imagine that they have these in like Florida bars or something like that, or at Hooters or. In TSTK, they have gator bites. They could be iguana bites. This could replace chicken. That's the way I see it. Popeyes <laughs> and Kentucky Fried Chicken, you better watch out. Because iguana is coming through. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you guys haven't tried iguana, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. But you guys see all the different ways we catch them on the channel. We use the catch pole. We use the air rifle. And now we have caught even a blue iguana in the trap. And, guys, we ate the red one right there. So, if you guys haven't tried iguana... I don't know what you're waiting for. If you live in Florida, they're everywhere. Uh, do the ecosystem a favor. Do your stomach a favor. Go out there, put them in the bag, and make you some iguana bites. Oh. All right, guys. Real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to the Lopez family for coming out here and helping me cook this iguana. We got our friend Tito right here. What's up, Tito? We got Robert. And we got his lovely Roxy. wife, Roxy. Guys, huge shout out from Sarasota. Helping us cook this iguana. And we have our bud, Shervin, right here. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Make sure to subscribe. Oh, and yeah. And turn on notifications to this video. Well, that's about all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, comment down below. Why do you think that iguana turned blue? It was absolutely insane. Actually trapping him and eating the iguana was an absolute treat. So, guys... I hope you enjoyed watching. We will see you on the next video.